Hello, my friends, and welcome to my channel. Spring is right around the corner here. The weather is getting warmer and warmer. The flowers start blooming and the trees are sprouting. It's such a refreshing time, and I think it's about time to start doing some planting. To be honest with you guys, I don't have a green thumb at all, but most of my plants have been so kind to me. Every year, I would get some new shoots out of my house plants. I used to go to Ross for the plant pots. This year, however, I want to make some pots by myself, so I decided to make a concrete plant pots. The reason I chose concrete is that I'm going to start the renovating our old kitchen very soon, and for the countertop replacement, I'm hesitating between a couple of options. A concrete countertop is one of the options, so I want to do a little test first to see how much I would like to work with it. To mix the concrete, I just poured the concrete powder in an old container and simply added a little bit of water at a time until it has a thick cake batter consistency. For each pot, we need two different sizes of containers as the inner and the outer form supports to create the mold. Then use canola cooking oil to spray on the containers to prevent the concrete from adhering to the plastic. I got mine from Costco, but it should be easy to find in any grocery store. Pour the concrete into the bigger container, then push the smaller one down into the concrete mixture. Use painter's tape to help secure the inner mold. You can also put some weight over it so the inner mold wouldn't、uh, rise up. Then lightly vibrate the outside bucket wall for the trapped air bubbles. I wanted to make a couple of planters with a stand. I have a piece of a seven-eighths dowel which I cut into four pieces of a five inches in length and three pieces of a four inches in length. This is a lid from a glass jar. I'm using a hot glue gun and gluing it into the bottom of the empty joint compound bucket. Wait a little bit until it's firmly adhered to the bottom. Spray the oil inside the bucket, then pour the concrete about the three to four inches deep. You can use any available material to make a concrete mold, such as food containers, plastic bottles, cardboard boxes, as long as they are in right sizes and have smooth walls that can be easily removed from dry concrete. With another plant stand, I used the hot glue gun and glued the paper cup to the bottom of the container, then sprayed the oil on it. I mark on the inner bucket to the depth of the three legs, then place three dowels in the concrete. Make sure the end of each dowel is exactly where you mark down the bucket wall. For this one, I placed the four dowels in each corner and used the level to make sure they are in the same length. Then use painter's tape and secure them on the bucket. I waited 40 hours to separate the concrete and the molds. The concrete is not fully cured, but it's firm enough to remove it from the plastic containers. Just be very careful when you separate them. Make sure you don't put too much force on and break the concrete. The canola oil spray sure helps the plastic slide off the concrete.
I then used a hundred grit sand sponge and sanded down all the parts for a smooth surface. I then stained all the wooden legs with the min wax wood finish. Color is the early American. Some of the pots turned out not to be perfect, but that's fine. It just gives them more rustic and industrial look. I then use black acrylic paint and just paint something simple on the pots to make them look even more interesting. The paint I got from Walmart, brand name is Apple Barrel. It only cost me a few dollars. For this part, you can basically paint anything you want, and you won't go wrong with it. It's your hand painting, and that's what makes it unique. I also made some stencils for the pots I didn't paint on to add some more characters to them.
I then used the drill bit for concrete to drill through the bottom of the pots for drain holes. If the drill bit is not big enough, you can always drill a couple more holes on each pot. For these two stands, initially I wanted to paint the patterns on them. Then I changed my mind. I think it's better to keep the plain look. I just spray them with the wet look concrete sealer to give them、uh, the darker finish. I applied one coat of polycrylic to these painted pots to protect the paint. But to be honest with you guys, I'm not happy with how they turned out, as I really like the natural concrete color they had before, and I wish I didn't have to put the coat on. This is a fun project for the springtime. I really loved putting this video together for you guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. That way, we will do all the fun projects together in future. That's it for this time, and I will see you very soon.